Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hello, hello, Calvary. I'm Pastor Sean, and I have your word for the day. Today's passage is Psalm 131, and it's so beautiful. Let's just take a moment. I just want to read it to you. My heart is not proud. Lord, my eyes are not haughty. I do not concern myself with great matters or things too wonderful for me. But I have calmed and quieted myself. I am like a weaned child with its mother. Like a weaned child, I am content. Israel, put your hope in the Lord, both now and forevermore. This morning, I took a moment to observe my two children. Both have been weaned from milk, and I had the thought after reading this psalm, if they weren't completely satisfied and content, there would be no way that they could have done that. They may have put up a small fuss during the process, but each of them quickly figured out life has so much more to offer than just milk, like steak, hamburgers, french fries, oatmeal, bacon, and lately Oreos. Things that really helped them grow. It seems the psalmist, like the Apostle Paul, believes that we are all like babies being weaned from spiritual milk. We are stuck in something inferior to our spiritual growth, such as being prideful, until we find something superior in taste and growth. And as we continually pursue God and quiet ourselves before Him in prayer and scripture, we are weaned from our childish pride and ungodly judgment of those around us. In fact, through that we find complete satisfaction and contentment in putting our hope, our full hope in the Lord forevermore. So, Calvary, what's your spiritual diet consist of lately? Are you dealing with pride and ungodly judgment of one another? Do you want to know how you can, you can tell whether you're, you have an unhealthy or healthy spiritual diet? Then just ask yourself this question. Are you, are you more worried about your status and image in this world than you are concerned with your relationship and status with God? Or this one, do you find yourself continually condemning those around you with your thoughts? Or do you find yourself serving those around you like Jesus commands us to? Or how about this one? Do you constantly find yourself stressed out by every little thing and are you full of complaints in your life? Or can you calm and quiet yourself before the Lord and trust Him to give you your daily bread and the power to forgive those who do wrong? If you find yourself more focused on the prior issues more than the latter truths, you may find yourself still needing to be weaned from spiritual milk. You haven't found full contentment and hope in the Lord yet and still try to fill your life with pride and ungodly judgment, haughty eyes. But here's the truth. We all do it. If we're not careful, we can find ourselves reverting back to old habits and old diets. The best thing we can do is what the psalmist tells Israel to do. Calvary, put your full hope in the Lord now and forevermore. In fact, what that means is remind yourself daily that Jesus Christ died for you for the repentance of your sins and the salvation of your souls. This is the true meat, the building block of our spiritual diet. He has saved you from the need to have pride and has instead called each and every one of us into a humble life of serving our neighbor and quieting ourselves before God. If you've never fully put your hope in the Lord and still find yourself trusting your pride and your ego, I can tell you this. You won't be disappointed if you do. It might be scary to give up these things that we've grown up with or we think have gotten us through this life or protected us, but with God, we can and will be completely satisfied. As you draw near to Him, He draws near to you. He is our prize and our joy. And as Ephesians 1.3 says, He has blessed us with every spiritual blessing because we are united to Christ. So Calvary, Put your full hope in the Lord. Pursue Him through prayer and scripture and daily reminding yourself of the good news, the gospel of Jesus Christ. And you will find yourself completely satisfied and ready to leave behind your pride and ego. I love you a lot, Calvary. Have a blessed day and we'll see you tomorrow.